What's up, everybody? What's good? Okay, so I'm gonna jump right into this. The title is You Can Meet Them Where You Are As You Are. Mm, gets, a, gets, a, gets a little, little, little deep here. Um, but I'm gonna give you a little backstory. I'm gonna tell you a story about like where all of this came from. Uh, today, I was a guest on a panelist, and uh, we were talking about like mastering your side hustle, just having different types of conversations. And two ladies then came up to me afterwards and really just started inquiring when I was talking about, you know, your experience, your expertise, being able to communicate, show up as you are, you know, like there is this interesting um, balance that people are looking to do as they grow in their career, grow in their leadership with being able to maintain their authenticity, maintain who they are and show up who they are, right? All the time, right? And and so we started having this conversation and they were telling me about what it's like to show up in rooms where they're the only ones. And I know that this is a very common story, a very common experience that many of us have. And you want to, as many people say, you know, you want to meet people where they are, you know, and, and in that space of like the expression of I want to meet people where they are, that expression is just like, I'm trying to relate to you. You know, I know I might come with my experience. I might come with my thoughts and my ideas, but I'm going to meet you where you are. Right. And the intention is to kind of build this camaraderie, is to, to, to build this kind of like this rapport. Right. Like what do we have in common? But when you're stepping into rooms and stepping into places where you don't think that you have anything in common with these people or with them, uh, you, you start to say to yourself, like, how is that even possible? And then essentially, when we have really shown up in many spaces, feeling as if we have to filter, feeling like we have to code switch, feeling like we have to sound, look, behave and posture ourselves differently um, in order to assimilate, to also be accepted to then also accelerate your career. You know, it could be very challenging to say, yes, I can meet them where, where they are as, as who I am, meaning I can meet them where they are and I don't have to change who I am. But oftentimes I, people feel like I have to change who I am in order to meet people where they are, in order to grow in my career, I gotta change who I am. And what I'm saying is, is that is a misconception. Right. And, and I will give a, an asterisk to this idea of change and what change is like we evolve. Right. You may not like pickleball, but somebody might invite you. You might show up, you try it. And all of a sudden you like pickleball. Right. You're not changing who you are, but you might be leaving yourself open to have new experiences or, you know, open to evolving um, because you have a growth mindset. Right. So change for when you want to change, not change so that I can fit in, right? Um, so, so anyways, they have this conversation and they're, they're just saying, how do I meet them where they are as I am? And I sat with it and I thought about it and I put myself in their shoes and I basically how I show up and how I sometimes say there's a, there's a volume. I will turn myself up for my personality and all my quirks and all my things. And then there are some spaces where I do, I turn myself down, but it's not because I'm being something that I'm not. I have now come to understand that there are many different variations of who I am. There are many different like aspects of who I am and they might show up in different spaces and places. I might be with people who call me to be a different version of Shahara. They might call me to be turnt. They more, might call me to be, you know, reflective. They might call me to be cool, calm and collected, but I'm exploring those variations of myself as they are still very authentic and true and aligned to who I am. And what I offered them and what, as I was even thinking on it is, is to meet them where they are, show up as you are but spend the time to really reflect as to what are all the different variations of myself. How do I show up in the space where I'm playing pickleball? How, pickleball, how am I showing up in spaces where I'm, you know, playing golf and golf ain't my thing? You know, how am I, you know, entertaining clients and I gotta be at the club and the club ain't what I need to like do. It's totally not me, but there are aspects of yourself that can still show up in that space. And it doesn't mean that you have to change who you are to show up in those spaces. Um, so then, so we talked about that and 
there was, it was met with a little bit of like, no, 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 I feel you. I got you. But then it, it came to my mind that we are so used to, um, changing who we are. And I'm honestly just put it in simple words, like, you know, posturing ourselves to be more professional so that we aren't judged, so that we aren't seen as lazy, so we aren't seen as many other negative connotations, which is the reason why, you know, we code switch and all of these things. You know, we're so accustomed to filtering who we are that we suppress the, the many variations of who we are, which is why it's so difficult to explore those many variations of ourselves. And so I offered a quote and I said, and I say this all the time, I say, vulnerability, is the most direct route to connection. So do not take the detour. Vulnerability. But what does vulnerability have to do with meeting people where they are? Because we are so accustomed to shaping ourselves to be a right fit for every moment, um, we don't share of ourselves. So then when we do show up as ourselves, it could feel real out there. It could feel like you are being e- extremely naked. It could feel like, oh my goodness, I am showing myself. And that within itself feels like you're being vulnerable. And it's crazy because when you're around people that you're comfortable with, when you're around family, when you're around your close loved ones, you know, like it just feels normal. But then when you do it in front of people, being yourself is an act of vulnerability because we are so used to filtering and posturing and and positioning ourselves, right? So in that space of showing up and meeting people where they are, as you are, it might feel like you're being vulnerable. And and that's an aspect of it. But I created a, I didn't didn't create nothing, but I thought about the connection of what vulnerability then leads to. You know, you're vulnerable. So now you're showing different aspects of yourself. You're sharing different parts of yourself and people are getting to know that. And when people get to know that, now you're being seen as authentic and real and relatable. And now when you come across as more authentic, you're exuding authenticity. Now people begin to trust you a little bit more because you're letting go of the boundaries. You're letting go of the filters. Even if it's very strategic as to what you sharing with them, <laughs> it's still like, I'm getting to know you. So you're building that trust. And with that trust now, because they trust you, if you offer a suggestion, you offer your perspective, they can acquiesce to it. They, they might change their perspective. They might change their opinion. And when that happens, you are now influencing. Now the people who trust you are more likely to, I'm not gonna say succumb to your influence, but now they're willing, because they because they trust you, if you make a suggestion, they'll say, okay, that sounds good. And that is what influence. Influence is having an effect on the people around you. Uh, influence is being able to change the things, the spaces and the places and the people around you. And people are only gonna do that if they trust you. And you really only build trust when you're kind of building these relationships. But you can't build a relationship if they don't know you. So you got to share aspects. So you see how it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So with all of that being said, y'all, meet them where they are as you are. I'm not saying you got to change who you are, but in the space of exploring who you are, there are different variations. There are nuances to you. There are you, you you probably got some different personalities, right? That might be fitting for these spaces where you have to meet them. Explore that aspect of yourself. Allow that version of yourself to show up. Last example that I'm gonna give is when when I get introduced to speak, when I get introduced to host, or I'm kicking off anything, when I'm kicking off anything, they ask me, hi, Tiffany. They ask me, uh, what you want to come out to? And if, you, and if you know, you know. And if you don't know, you're about to find out. I come out to Cash Money Records taking over for the 9-9 in the 2000s. That is my song. Wherever, whenever, okay? Maybe not for a church function, okay? If it's, if it's a more conservative fu- function, 
there's another song that represents who I am. And just because I don't come out to Cash Money Records taking over for the 99 and 2000 does not mean that I'm not being myself. It just means that there's a variation of myself that, that is better suited to connect with these people. If I'm with old school folks, and I know I'm with old school folks, I'm coming out to She's a Brick House. Hey, she's my tomate, just letting it all hang out. And they love that. They love that one. But now it's getting to the point where the old folk like that back, back that ass up too. So anyways, I, I offer you that story is because there are different variations of ourselves. And when we share those different variations of ourselves, that is what makes us feel like I'm not switching it up. I'm not changing. I'm just presenting to you an aspect of me that is true and real for this moment. You feel me? Anyways, that is all I got for y'all. That is all I have for y'all today. Okay. Y'all got any questions? Where y'all at? Any people in the chat? Let me know too, you know, in, in the chat, let me know like how you um, meet people where they are as you are. I'm not saying that I have all the answers. I'm not saying that I have all the perspectives, but in my journey, in my experience of having conversations with people, like this is the stuff that's coming up. And I believe it's, it's a nuanced thing, how we show up, how we present ourselves, how we communicate and express ourselves. And that's why I do this work that I do. You know, um, I, I was talking to those ladies today. It kind of turned into a little bit of a, a, a mini coaching session, but more so of just an exploration session. And they really want to, as they are building out their side hustle, they want to be able to step into rooms and feel like they're showing up as they are in rooms that they're unfamiliar with. And they know that they have the experience. They know that they're credible, but they want to be able to communicate and express that credibility um, at a different level. And it is very nuanced in that space, a ponytail palm. And so I, I offer it to them because we are currently, Speak House currently in the space of open enrollment for our leadership communication group coaching program called Acclaim. And I have worked on uh, group coaching, and then I went into the one-on-one -on -one space, then I moved over working on B2B, and then doing one-on-one -on -one in B2B, doing programs in B2B, and now I'm bringing one-on-one -on -one and uh, programs back together to the people and to the streets. So if you have been thinking about how you're leveling up the way that you show up, the way that you present, the way that you communicate, um, the way that you navigate relationships, um, how you leverage your experience and expertise in order to influence, in order to have very high level conversations um, with stakeholders and leaders. You know, if you feel like you are that person where you know you got it. And everybody, after you get done talking, they say to you, oh my gosh, you did so amazing. You did so great. And then you still kind of sit back and say, eh, I could have done better. Uh, I talked about the, you know, that when you walk into a room and you start speaking and then people have heard of you or they know a little something about you, but then when they meet you and they hear you talking and they say, oh, I get it. I get, I get what all the hype is about. Or just feeling for yourself when you, Close your mouth, get done speaking, saying something, presenting a point, and you feel to yourself, yes, I did that. That is where we support. That is where we help um, many of our clients. And open enrollment is open. It's open. The doors of open enrollment are open. Um, so I am going to uh, put the link in my bio. And if you want to learn more about a claim, and how we're anchoring uh, growing influence and doing it authentically through the power of storytelling and the way that you communicate and present yourself, then apply for the program. And then we will send you some info. You can jump on a call with me. You can determine whether or not uh, a claim is something that you, or maybe somebody that you know, might be something that you want to participate in. You know, it is, I talked about growth mindset earlier. And knowing that you're good, what got you here won't get you there. And I know you feel it. 
Eric said a lot of people are feeling it. We all in this together. So anyways, hit the link in my bio, apply for acclaim. The doors are open and I hope to be chatting with you soon. Peace out.